Hey guys, it's Miz and it is what it is and today we're going to be talking about how I plan my YouTube videos and find inspiration. So, first thing is I have a notebook. This is my notebook. It says So Loved Romans 5.8. <laughs> So for me, I think it's so important as you're starting off your YouTube channel to figure out what kind of videos you want to post, what ideas and stuff like that. And I always get the question, I would love to start a YouTube video, but I don't know what YouTube videos to make. And I think you start with the videos that you love to watch. Why? Because you enjoy watching them. You know, you wouldn't be sitting down taking the time to watch the videos that you do enjoy. So for me, I love watching Productive Day in My Lives. I love watching collection videos. I love watching what's on my iPhone. I love tech videos, Productive Days, Advice. Like, that's the stuff I love. So I know that is going to best suit me for when it comes to making a video. So example, like if you, if you enjoy video games, you're not going to be talking about cooking stuff in the kitchen you're going to be talking about video games you're going to be reviewing games you're going to be reviewing systems you're going to be reviewing or doing collabs or like you know posting your twitch streams on youtube so whatever it is you know you're going to find ways to branch out of your niche so for me personally i don't know why my face is itching oh, i don't know why my face is itching um i know for me i love lifestyle i love advice i love productivity and I love tech videos so those are the videos that I am going to make my notebook as a youtuber when it comes to video ideas this kind of has tiktok videos ideas too tiktok video ideas saying that's a tongue twister and so this is like my youtube notebook for ideas inspo and plans so most definitely I figure out like my channel why can you see that sorry there we go my face is like messing it up <laughs> so my why is like I want to leave an impact like if someone sees my channel I want to inspire them I want them to be motivated and I want them to leave happy I want them to see me as a friend someone that encourages them and someone um, you know someone to help them but also when I speak they also you know don't just how what's the right phrase it's along the lines like when you see me i want you to see jesus and not me i want my channel to glorify him so that's kind of like my channel why why i do my youtube channel so when you have that why in mind it's going to be easier for you to stay consistent when it's hard for you to post videos it's like well i don't feel like doing this i don't want to do this but if you have a channel why that is solid and you know doesn't have to be solid but you have all these bullet points so why you keep going then it's going to be easier for you to be consistent it's going to be easier for you to be passionate and want to stay consistent with your youtube channel pulling out this notebook was such a good reminder because it reminded me of things that i was praying about for my channel and i have a list of faith friday video ideas so for me i you know i try to talk about my faith on here i try to talk about jesus as much as possible and so i feel like for me I want to incorporate my faith on here so I know a lot of people do faith Fridays I think that'll be easier for me because I have Friday nights at church and so I'm highly involved in that so maybe I could do a Friday or a day in my life young adults Friday or young adults at church or something like that type of video so I constantly want to be you know not also just studying my bible but helping people around me learn about jesus as well versus me just like keeping that to myself i feel like it is so important to you know have community who loves jesus who wants to talk about jesus so that's something that i want to incorporate with my channel so for faith friday video ideas i have come to church with me a morning routine with jesus i do have a video on that things i've learned from you know blank book or you know let's see um i have this book so I could do a video, a book review on things I've learned from this one or, you know, share my book recommendations because I love reading now. It's one of my favorite things that like gets me through. It's such a calming activity I love to do. It doesn't require me being on my phone. It just requires, you know, me sitting down fully focused and paying attention to what is being said on the being said in the book. And sometimes I also do audiobooks, so it kind of just varies. Chit chat video ideas. I know I don't know about you guys, but I love talking all the time. Talking sometimes I talk too much but talking is really good and sometimes a lot of us we want to sit down and have a chit chat video with our subscribers our followers our friends and it's like well what topics do I want to come up with so sit down take some time to be like I would love to do a chit chat video 
And sometimes this can be helpful for when you do a mukbang video. You're like, okay, I want to do a mukbang video, but I don't know what to talk about. And like my food's getting cold. So you want to sit down ahead of time and plan out topics you want to talk about. So if I want to talk about my faith, I want to talk about letting go. Letting go relationships, um, letting go of, you know, letting go during the breakup process or leading or leadership or making friends as a Christian and going back to church and where to start when it comes to building your relationship with Jesus again. Or you can do how to grow in your faith, how to love others. You can do setting goals and trusting God with everything in your life. So those are some of the chit chat ideas that I would love to talk about and this could be verses this could be stories this could be topics this can be books or advice so you kind of want to sit down ahead of time and plan out the chit chat categories that you want to have in mind you can do music for your intro and outro you can do what is that <laughs> time lapse or montages have like your signature music if you like i don't i kind of just depends on what's in my music library I kind of just like oh like this sounds good they feel like this would be good so so you can do that in the beginning if not and then I also found this template a while back ago when I was starting my YouTube channel so it says the title you have a checklist you have things to talk about you have title ideas right here and you can also create thumbnail ideas you can figure out what editing like is a must in the video and then I don't know what the last part says oh and then you can go on trends I haven't done this yet but it was recommended that if you want to see certain trends that are popular on Google right now you could just do trends.google.com to figure out what kind of video <laughs> what kind of video you would like to do always want to get better at editing I always want to advance everything that I'm doing I'm actually a cinematography major and I do a lot of editing in my internship I do editing I work with After Effects and Photoshop so personally let's start off with iMovie so there's this girl that I watch her name is Susan Carolyn and I watched her video on how to edit on my iMovie so you can take the time to watch video other like your favorite youtubers and figure out what kind of editing techniques they're using so this is what we have from her some things are highlighted to remind me like oh zoom in what transitions she's using and then you know same on this side you know i even drew like what does it actually look like in the software so never be embarrassed or hesitate to figure out how i know this is a lot i know it's like planning like this is literally planning a youtube video for me like i'm like okay I really enjoy watching her editing techniques so I'm gonna sit down and figure out how she edits so I'm gonna watch how she edits her YouTube videos I'm gonna take note of that and put that as a recommendation for when I go back and edit my own videos so don't feel embarrassed don't hesitate to watch a video take notes and refer back to your notes when it's time for you to edit um, I have about one two three four five six six ideas six pages of lifestyle content so also make video ideas in this kind of template video ideas um it takes days to film or it takes weeks to film and you know categorize it like that and keep yourself accountable then you can also go on youtube and find videos that are talking about viral video ideas so some of those are going to be a school morning and night routine we have after school night routine trying everything in your closet a school vlog aesthetic audios for edits we have how to grow your youtube channel pulling an all-nighter 24 hours in a blank challenge so i'm going to show you guys exactly how i plan a youtube so i decided to flip you guys around so you can see exactly what my notebook looks like um let me scoot you up a little so here oh no that's not up enough okay that is not up enough either okay so we have plan so example um let's do if you want to do a college morning routine you want to have a checklist of your thumbnails subtitles card transitions and then you want to have elements that you want to incorporate within that video also you want to have b-roll shots make sure that it's vlog style and that you're talking for me i know this will take about an hour or uh, an hour one day to film and I have it either it takes one hour or it takes one day to film just so I get an estimate of like okay like do I feel like you know because I like I'm a I'm procrastinator by personally I procrastinate by how long something takes so me knowing how long it actually takes encourages me to be like I'm gonna 
end up filming that video. So you could do how I did my makeup in high school. You want to get product shots, so you want to make sure that your face is in the frame, and you would get close-ups or switch up the angles when you're doing your makeup, and I know this is going to take me an hour to do if I want to talk and actually, you know, talk about things that I've done in high school as well. That's how I film it. Not film. <laughs> That's pretty much how I edit. Nope. <laughs> that is pretty much how I plan and find inspiration for my YouTube channel. I know it's a little bit overwhelming and it can be a lot, but this is kind of what I've done over the years, over the past few months that really helped me stay consistent with, you know, finding inspiration. I know that's the hardest thing when you're starting out with a YouTube channel, like what videos am I supposed to make? I want to make videos that I love, but I also want to make videos that are going to go viral and it reaches a broader audience. But I think just stay consistent with you know finding your routine finding out what you like what's getting you more views and then when you establish your audience then you can ask for their feedback and what they like so that's kind of how it goes with most youtubers they kind of just branch out try everything and then they niche down when they have found their subscribers and figure out what they want me i'm a little bit all over the place just because i've been un, un i've been inconsistent over the years with my youtube channel so i don't really know what my subscribers like so i'm trying to figure out by just trying everything at the moment and I hope this video was super encouraging and helpful for you with trying to plan and organize your videos and finding inspiration and you know you might just need to start picking up the camera and just talking to it and then everything will gradually progressively just happen smoothly I know it's the hardest part of okay I have ideas but I I'm intimidated. I don't think my video is going to be good. I've seen my other favorite YouTubers do this video and I get into this comparison game. So I know how you feel. You're not alone, but I will talk to you guys in the next video. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.